Well, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Cindy Daychuk with Queen Bee Creations, and today's video is all about Easter. And not just any old thing about Easter, it is about egg decorating. And let's face it, egg decorating and kids go hand in hand. So, I am going to give you 10 different decorating ideas that are all kid friendly, depending upon the age of your children <laughs> or your grandkids. So pick and choose according to their interests, your interests, the materials you have on hand, their ages, but I'm sure that you're gonna find a couple of ideas within the 10 that I give you that your kids are going to love. So. Without further delay, let's hop on into the first video and we'll begin our countdown. I've brought you in closer for this particular egg decorating so that you can see what I'm doing. This is just a plastic container full of water. Nothing, nothing more than that. This is just a little container of nail polish. Um, from the dollar store because I would not have this color glue in my nail polish collection and more of a light pink or red on the toes kind of gal. Um, so I just decided that I wanted to decorate with blue um, so my egg sort of looked like that flow blue sort of blue crackleware kind of thing. Now what I do have is I have three hard-boiled eggs um, which is the easiest way to do this particular thing but what I did do is I took one of the plastic dollar store eggs and I skewered it I poked a hole in the bottom and I put a skewer up it um, because for this technique ideally you want them to be heavy enough to drop through your nail polish but otherwise this would just this guy would just float so I need to be able to dip him what we're gonna do is just kind of float a little bit of our nail polish on the surface. So you could use any color of nail polish. You could use multiple colors of nail polish. It's your choice as to how colorful you want this to be. And all that you're gonna do is gently lower your egg in and let it go. Now it's hard boiled, so it's not gonna crack. Um, but just to get a bit of a patterning happening on here. Now this is still all Kind of doing its thing. You could add a little bit more on the surface if you wanted a little bit heavier coloring and lines. And some of them I might want to dip again. The lighter one, let me just get a little bit more striping in here for this guy. And here I'm just going to kind of lower it down and use So I've got my, my spoon and you can see, this is pretty easy to, to nab off the surface of, of your water because that nail polish is hardened and just sticking down there. So let's put that off to the side. And then I'm gonna reach in and take a look at my eggs. I'll just put them on a little stand to dry. This is another super cute, super fast, and super easy little egg decorating. So for this one, we're gonna need the little mini pots. Okay, so the little mini terracotta pot. Um, and we're gonna use real eggs, hard boiled eggs for this if you want, or the little plastic ones that come from the dollar store. So 12 pack in a carton. Um, I like to, I just take a little all, just something pokey and I like to poke a little hole into it and then insert a skewer just that makes it easier for me to be able to paint put it into something to be able to dry without it rolling around or getting all messed up so for this all you need is green paint I am using DIY of course because that's what I sell here in the shop Queen Bee Creations home dot com but you could use any kind of craft paint with you know, any kind of acrylic paint, whatever you want. I've got a couple of different shades just so that I can have a little bit of variation. We are gonna be making 
cacti, little cactuses. So to start with, all that we wanna do is take our paintbrush, and there's mine's a little stiff, so let's get that going, and pan green. Just get that green color on there, and then we're gonna let them dry. Once our little eggs are dry, one little spot, mostly dry, then we're gonna take a, let me see if one of my lighter ones is done because you'll be able to see it a little bit better, I think. What we're gonna look at doing is we're just gonna use like a black Sharpie. I have two sizes and we're just gonna draw some lines on. Just kind of reminiscent of, just to kind of give the perspective of them being cactus, cacti. So for this one, um, I'm just looking at maybe drawing. So, you know, maybe some little squiggles like this. Other ones, I might do little X's. Maybe I'm gonna do the X's on this one, the squiggles on the other guy. And just kind of do those, just reminiscent of, let me see about my finer one, maybe. Just reminiscent of the prickles. Yeah, finer one works better for the X's. And I'm doing this right over my dry DIY paint, my dry clay paint. And every so often you might just have to kind of draw on paper to get off maybe some of the paint that's adhering a little bit. When they're done, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my clear wax, so clear wax from DIY, and I'm just going to seal. All right, so I just want these to be sealed they lighten up as they dry again. And I'm gonna leave it overnight for it to dry. And then we'll come back and do our final touches on these and get them into our pots and make, make them look a little bit more like it's a little cactus, a little succulent. Our little eggs have had a chance to be able to dry overnight. And all I wanna do is take a dry cloth and just kind of buff them up a little bit. Because I used the wax, um, this will just smooth it out, give it a nicer texture, and it's gonna give it a little bit of a sheen. So I didn't, you could, you could have sealed these with a polyacrylic or you know, Mod Podge if you wanted to, whatever you got, but because they're cacti, I didn't want them to be super shiny, right? But again, they're eggs, so what does it really matter? All right, so here's the idea. We're gonna take our little pot and I just scrunch up some tin foil to put into the bottom of the pot. And that way when I add, you know, some of my Spanish moss, then um, I'm not having to fill the entire jar full, right? Because, fine. Why? So I've just got my little moss there and I'm going to be nestling this down in there, but um, I, I don't want it to be shifting around all over. So I am doing a squirt of glue. That's just my hot glue. And then I'm going to sit this in upright. Just hold it in place, let it dry, and then I'm gonna put a little, I've got these little tiny um, flowers. These I got from the dollar store, so they're on wire. I'm just gonna cut the wire off and I'm gonna put a little tiny dab of my hot glue on the back of that and I'm gonna stick it right up on top. So I end up, and I've got the other two done. So I end up with cute little cacti. Aren't they sweet? Okay, our next little egg decorating, we are just going to do some decoupage. And this is super simple. We're just gonna grab some napkins. So whatever napkins that you have, 
Um, they could be, they could be florals. They could be, you know, Easter eggs. I happen to have found these little egg shaped bunny faces. So kind of awesome. The first thing that you have to do for this though, is you have to separate out your napkins. Most napkins nowadays are three ply. There are two ply, so be careful, but you want to tease apart at the corner somewhere your different layers. So I have one layer to pull aside and a second layer to pull aside. They're harder than this to separate sometimes at the corners when you have no nails, so I started it before the camera. And then we're left with just the one size that we want to use. And I'm going to cut this apart. And then I'm going to cut out each of these little bunny um, egg-shaped circles. Because I'm doing both sides, you're gonna do one side, let it dry, and then do the other side. So what I, what I tend to do is I just take little cups, I just have plastic cups here, and so when I decoupage one side, I can just rest it dry, wet side up on my cup until it's dry, and then I can decoupage the other side. Okay, makes sense? So just be prepared with some place to put it, to let it rest. You want that wet side to be able to stay up. So. All that we do, this is so easy, a little bit messy with kids, but you know, it's just glue, it just, just rubs off, right? It just washes off. Is we're going to apply our decoupage medium and um, just on half my egg, right? Give it a sticky surface to adhere. And then I'm going to put my image over that surface. I'll take it up a little bit higher. Now mine happened to be egg shaped already. So you notice that I'm tapping it straight up the middle and then some of these sides stick out a little bit because we're doing this on a curved surface. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make some little tears on either side of that center line that are gonna help me be able to overlap my paper in a way that's going to allow my image to sit flat. So here, I made sure that I stuck the ear down and then I'll go and I'll take the rest of that white and stick it that way. And then I'm gonna do a quick coat of my Mod Podge and I'm using the glossy again, just so it'll be a little bit, a little bit shinier. I'm just going to coat his little face and especially the edges, right? Where I want it to, to definitely adhere. And they're gonna put him off to the side to dry. And then I'm gonna do my next one. When it's dry, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the reverse side. So when I have both sides done, I'll come back and show you what's next. Last step for these little decoupage eggs is to take a little dab of glue and wrap some ribbon around it and glue it in place. So that we just have kind of a little bit of a frame for our little bunnies. Eggs. I just have my egg on a skewer again because I'm using the plastic ones and I want to paint them metallic. I happen to have pennies from heaven from DIY which again here in the shop um, but you can use whatever metallic color that you have. This is just a really rich coppery color and you likely have to do two coats but I'm going to start by getting two full coats of my copper paint on my eggs. And then I'll come back at you for the next step. For our copper metallic, I am just going to use a black marker. Now I'm using an oil-based pen, which self seals and my copper paint, most metallic paints are going to self seal as well. You could just as easily use a permanent marker like a Sharpie as well. 
and you were just going to draw designs on it. Draw squiggles, draw, now I did swirls and I did kind of a little bit like a zentangle and you can simply, you know, on this one, you can see I've drawn just polka dots on it. You could have your kids write their name on it, whatever you want. And then you've got beautiful little metallic eggs. For our next little egg decorating, we are gonna take a little square piece of um, plastic wrap and we're gonna take alcohol inks and just kind of dot them around. We just want to cover enough surface area that when we roll our, when we lay our, our eggs down in it, that it will cover it. Now, these stain. So, so we are using the plastic. We technically should not come in contact with the ink. That said, I tried one and I have ink on me. So, we're gonna take the egg. We are going to take our plastic wrap up and over. And what we wanna do is we wanna kinda of squish it in such a way that the ink section, the ink section gets on our egg. And we're gonna kind of mush it around. So you can see I've got a big white space up there. So I may be just going to open this up a little bit pop it over where there's some purple and pinks and just kind of squish it. And I don't mind if there's some white on, on the egg when it's done, but I'm just going to kind of twist tie it here and put it off to the side. We want them to dry overnight. So it's nothing more complicated than that. We're just going to kind of swirl on the colors and I'm using raspberry and passion purple and a bright sunshine yellow. And I was just doing all three of the eggs in these same colors so that I had some colors that, some eggs that all matched, that all went together. But the way that you kind of swirl it, the way that you kind of wrap this up, it's all gonna create some patterning. It's all gonna kind of bleed around the amount of color that you've got, where you've got the color, it's gonna create some different looks. And we're just gonna take a look at revealing them tomorrow. It's time now to check on the status of our eggs. So they've sat overnight, they've kind of dried, and now it's time to open them up and see what we've got. Cellophane sticking to me. So you just want to kind of tease this open a little bit slowly because your plastic wrap is gonna kind of stick to your egg and it's easier to take it off in one big piece and try and get some of those little pieces off later. But you can see already, we're getting this sort of tie-dyed effect. Okay, awesome. So that's our egg. Now you can leave it this kind of matte look and color, or you could take some of your Mod Podge or a polyacrylic or even a wax and just kind of uh, coat it to be able to shine it up a little bit. So it really just depends upon the look that you're after, whether you want that matte look or you wanted something a little bit shiny. These next eggs are super cute and really pretty easy. You just need some colored markers. So again, something that I'm sure that you've got in your house that your kids have, 
and I'm just using a Tombow paint marker because that's what I've got in the shop here. But you just start with the fat end of the egg up, hold the little end by the tips, and we're just going to paint kind of green streaks. I'm just looking to see if I got a darker green, but I think this is it. So we're just gonna paint green, kind of almost like grass. So we're not looking at it being um, I guess even at the top, we want to have little uneven streaks coming up, which is perfect. And we're just looking to have that kind of design happening all the way around the base of your egg. Once you've got your green grass painted on there, you're just gonna take some little colored markers and here I've got like some yellow, some pink, some, you know, corals. And all you're gonna do is draw on like just quick little flower shapes, little, little tulip shapes. So I'm just doing tiny little spikes coming up all in one direction. So we're not looking for them to be huge or intricate. So I've got little yellow ones. Let me do some little pale pink ones. Color, I'm gonna do pale purple as well. So you can see that my little flowers go all the way around. And then all I'm going to do is take a very thin little black Sharpie and I'm just going to, from the base of my flower, down my egg, draw some quick little tiny black lines, not even going all the way down. So I don't need them to be perfect. I'm just looking for them to be a hint. And that's it. And I wouldn't even worry about sealing these. I would just leave them nice and matte so then you don't have to worry about whether your markers bleed. They're just gonna be the super cute little pen marker flower gardens. For this next one, which is really kind of super fun. Um, I'm gonna be using the plastic eggs again, in which case I've got them on a skewer, but you can use your hard boiled eggs for this one. It works great. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some shaving cream. It's very cool. And you're just going to spray it out in a big mound. Now I have this on um, plastic wrapped cardboard. You can do this directly onto a cookie sheet or something. If you're doing this at home and you have food coloring, this works perfectly with food coloring. I'm not at home and I don't have food coloring. So I am actually gonna give it a try with some of my alcohol inks because why not? So all you do with your food coloring or your alcohol inks if you got them is just kind of dot them here and there-ish. And I'm doing some blues and some greens and so we're just getting a bunch of color down. Maybe a bit of yellow would look good. And then just take a um, stick or a pick of some kind and just swirl your colors a bit. So you can take this, and if you're doing this with hard boiled eggs, then all that you need to do is drop your egg in, take a plastic spoon and cover it. Because I'm doing it with these, I'm gonna kind of push them in and Oh, they don't like to roll. So I'm just gonna kind of push them in and get a bunch of my color on there. And then 
you just let them sit. Let them sit for about 20 to 30 minutes before you then wash them off. Okay, this one swirls. It's on there a little bit better than that other guy. So I'm just gonna swirl it all over, which is the fun part, and leave them to, to dry, get them stained up, and then wash your eggs off and see what it looked like, see where the dye where the dye stuck. Doing this with food, food coloring for the kids means that it can be nice and food safe. But if we had a hard boiled egg, we just drop it in, take our spoon, cover it over, right? Let them sit in there on your tray for about 20 minutes, scoop it out, and then wash it off. Okay, I have made a trip to the washroom here and rinsed off our shaving cream and it rinses off just lickety split so no problem with that and oh my goodness we end up with these beautiful kind of softly colored kind of rainbow effect eggs so obviously whatever colors you're going to use um, I love these these are just kind of really soft and kind of mod looking and again, you could leave them matte like this if you would like for a softer look. You could certainly, um, you could certainly cover them in a poly or your Mod Podge to give them a bit of a shine or a sheen, but super cute, y'all. I love these. I hope you're getting some ideas so far on uh, things that you might want to give a try. This next one, we are taking our eggs and we are painting them orange. And, you know, you just end up having to do it a little bit in, in steps. And again, I just have my little, and this is, this is a, uh, a mixture of some of my DIY paint, some of my acrylic paints. I mean, you know, to get whatever color orange, whatever you've got in the house to be able to use their eggs. <laughs> you just want orange. Okay, let's let them dry. That's my orange paint done all over my fingers. While they're drying, we might as well get their little, get their little stems done. We're making carrots. So, to do this, what we're gonna do is just take a little piece of green paper. Now, I have scrapbooking paper. If you have green construction paper so it's two-sided, it's green on both sides, even better. You're gonna take this. This is about two and a quarter inches wide. It's about four and a half inches long. There's no rhyme or reason to this. And you're just gonna fold it in half. So, I have one already folded but we're just gonna fold it in half, crease it, you're ready to go. When you've got it creased, you're gonna take a pair of scissors and the folded side is where we cut, okay? So we are going to cut small little slits down toward this open end, but we are not going to cut through. So you want to leave an edging, however long you feel comfortable with. And we're just gonna go all the way along to create a fringe. Okay, so we're gonna do that the entire length and you don't wanna watch me do all that, so I have one done. So we've got this fringe all the way along. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it. Now, as we're rolling, we want to just slowly angle it up a little bit so that as it goes, and you can put a dab of glue in there. I have some hot glue, but you don't have to use hot glue, especially if you're doing it with kids. Just use regular glue. 
but you're just going to angle it slightly so that the top starts to stick up a little bit higher. So we're just going to slowly do that. Let me do another little dab here. Just so that we kind of get it a little bit longer. Mine kind of spiraled, but it'll be okay. And once that's glued in place, you can start kind of pulling some of these out, some of your little fringe outward a little bit, just so that it's a little bit more three-dimensional. And that becomes our little green top to our carrot. For these little carrots, one of the things that you can do is just put some kind of little little rings around your carrots if you want. Right, I'm just taking a light brown marker and I'm just kind of twirling it around and making them meet when they don't <laughs> at the end. So we're just putting some little little rings around these just for for a little bit of added interest and and really the final touch the kind of because right now they just look like orange orange eggs with lines <laughs> what we really want to do is we want to add our toppers on and they look a lot more like carrots once we get that happening so I'm gonna put a dab of glue on the top and then stick my topper on it and it really does transform it now into that carrot you get a lot more of that carrot shape happening and it just looks super cute now so i'm going to stick it on my other two and take a quick pick for you our next eggs we're gonna play with sparkles. So this is where you get to use your own discretion if you're doing this with children because sparkles have a way of infiltrating your home, right? No matter how contained you think you are with your sparkles, you are not. So it's up to you, but let's face it, kids love sparkles. So you are just simply gonna take your decoupage glue and you are going to paint the glue on your egg. Wherever the glue is, that's where your sparkles are going to stick. So you could just paint lines and then just, I really advocate for doing this over top of something. So you could paint lines and then roll your um, egg into that medium, right? So paint it on and then just simply roll the egg into the sparkles of your choice, which just kind of contains it a little bit, right? So we get nice lines in there to kind of a little bit of a let's just get the bottom silver now if you're trying to straighten out lines and things like that what I found is as it starts to dry, so before it's perfectly dry, if you just take kind of like a skewer or a toothpick and you kind of run it along the edges, you can start to straighten out some of your lines on your eggs so that they're a little bit more even. Anyway, you get some super cute little eggs. You can have as much bling as you want on them some little designs if you would like instead just kind of nice and sparkly make them in unicorn colors kids would love it
I did want to pop on and show one quick little bling alternative to the this the sparkle. So you might like the blingy look, but not want to deal with all of the um, sprinkles going all over the place. So one alternative is that there is kind of this bling mesh. I have it in a big roll, but I know that my dollar store sells it in small packets. So you can get it at the dollar store, it's not expensive. But you can, it's kind of like these, these tiny little, little shiny silver crystals on a slightly mesh back so that you can cut them apart into individuals, into squares, into whatever you want. So one of the things that you can do then is just kind of take this, and I'm using hot glue just because I'm in my shop and that's what I got, although look at me making a mess of it already. Um, so you can just use any glue of your choice. And you can just simply glue those mesh sparkles on. See that you can add sparkles on there quite quickly and easily and create designs and patterns just using some of these little, I don't know, bling strips, <laughs> bling mesh, rhinestone mesh. I don't know what you call it. If you are anything like me and you use transfers a lot, then you may end up with a lot of little bits and pieces hanging out. I keep these in an envelope labeled transfers and I'm always looking to add little bits and pieces of them to any of the projects that I'm working on. And so, one of the things that I have found over time is that my grandkids love doing the transfers. So when they come here, they don't want to wash the brush. <laughs> they, don't want to, they don't even really want to paint necessarily, but they do love doing transfers. So regardless of their age, this is a fun thing for them to do. No hot glue, no messy paint, you just get to rub on. So if you have excess transfers to use, this is a great way. Now I'm using one of the bigger eggs just because just because, just <laughs> because I have it. Um, but here, you're just gonna take some of the leftover pieces of transfers that you've got. Um, okay, this is a good one, let me, let me do this. And you are just going to rub it on. You've got a bit of a curved surface here, but hang with it, it's okay. And you're just gonna use the little, the little tool that comes with it and you're just going to affix your transfer onto your egg. And I'm using a white egg, so I didn't have to paint it. I just, I wanted it to be on a white surface, but you could paint and seal your egg in any color that you want. Um, maybe that whatever's going with your, your Easter holiday decor, seal it. So again, a bigger craft if you wanted with the kids. And it's a great, fun way to be able to use up a lot of your transfers and make just some super cute little Easter designs. Oh, there you have it. 10 different ideas, maybe 10 and a half in there. Let me know if you give any of them a try. Let me know what you think of them. And above all, I hope you have fun decorating some eggs. Until the next video, take care.